Hello! In this section you will learn about Web Feature Service, WFS, and you will create an application that provides feature level read and write access involving the spatial database. This is a powerful capability for your end user as it will provide the means to alter and update data which they can select through a map based interface. You'll learn about WFS, its syntax and capabilities, we'll explore WFS outputs and formats, then you'll learn to build an open layers web app with WFS. Finally, you'll learn how to use WFS transactions to update underlying layer data. WFS is an open standards web service comparable to WMS. Let's explore this topic in detail and learn the basics of WFS syntax and requests. You'll learn about the differences of WFS when compared to WMS. You'll learn WFS syntax basics to prepare you for making requests to these services. Finally, you'll see an example of WFS in an open layers web map. While WMS usually provides an image in response to a request, WFS provides parsable feature level data, usually in a text based machine readable format. A client, such as OpenLayers, reads the response and renders it as directed, usually as a map overlay. Similar to WMS, a WFS server accepts HTTP GET requests, as in a URL, with parameters, but often is used with information embedded in an HTTP POST request with additional parameters embedded in XML. This provides additional complexity beyond a list of key value pairs included in a URL. Here's the document that gives the technical details of the WFS specification. The GET capabilities WFS operation has a direct analog in WMS. This document gives some details for operations further down and shows what kinds of parameters would be included with those operations. And operations are under the request parameter. For example, this one is describe feature type. In any case, getting back to get capabilities WFS operation, this is basically the same as what you'll have with WMS. However, other operations are explicitly feature based. For example, get feature, describe feature type, get GML object, transaction, and lock feature. Describe feature and get feature are supported by all WFS servers and provide feature level data from the service. Transaction and lock feature will be important to us at the end of this section as we explore the use of WFS for writing data to the server through the service. Here is an example of a WFS web app from the OpenLayers examples page. Let's look at the requests that come out of this web app by going to the developer tools. Under the network tab, this Request uses only URL parameters through an HTTP GET operation. You will see an example of an HTTP POST operation at the end of this section that includes XML in the request to provide arguments to a WFS transaction operation.